Good morning, I'm Mrs. Hoyland. I'm the seventh grade geography teacher here at Stover Middle School. I am teaching both virtual classes and face-to-face. -face. Um, this year I know has been a very challenging start to the school year. This has been hard on students, parents and guardians and the teachers, but I know that as long as we all work together, whether you're virtual or face-to-face, -face, we're gonna get through this school year just fine. Um, I'm already noticing that things are starting to smooth out and people are starting to get their groove with um, this new school year. So as a virtual teacher, I'm going to go over some expectations for virtual students. I just wanna make sure that this is communicated. One thing I wanna um, mention is please make sure that your student is checking power school grades to make sure that they have all their assignments turned in. If they see a zero in the grade book, it's because it was not turned in on time. And that zero can be changed as long as the student completes the assignment and also sends a late form, which is available on all the teachers' Google Classrooms. The late form policy is something that is school-wide this year at Stover. Um, it allows teachers to keep track and record of late assignments and it also puts the responsibility on the student to try to make sure that they're turning their work in on time. So please make sure that you access that. Parents, if you don't have access to power schools, you need to contact the front office and find out how you can do that. You can have your own login, you can check the grades from your cell phone, you can check your grades from your computer, you can even set it up to where you get notifications every time a new grade is entered into the grade book. I think it's really important for the parents to also just make sure that you're checking on your child. Um, I think it's great that you know you're putting some responsibility on your student, but just in case, I would make sure that you are also accessing the grades and making sure that they are staying on top of everything because at the end of the quarter, it's gonna be very hard to try to catch up with all these assignments for six classes. So just one big thing, I really recommend getting on power schools daily, if not, you know, a couple times a week, just to make sure that you're keeping up with all your work, okay? Um, another thing I wanna mention for virtual expectations, students that are virtual option two, um, they are expected to log on during their class times on time and also have their video cameras on. Um, this is a district expectation, so please make sure that you are logging on on time You're not, um, and your camera is on. Um, as far as our asynchronous students, our option three students, just a reminder, all of your assignments are due by Sunday. Um, just if you see a due date on um, your teacher's assignments that is not Sunday, disregard that your assignments are due Sunday, no matter what. So just make sure that you're staying on top of that work. Again, if you see a zero in the grade book, it's because it was not turned in on time by that Sunday due date. Um, I do recommend that you are checking your classes each day. All of your virtual teachers have some sort of daily agenda in their Google Classroom under the classwork section. And that's where you're gonna be accessing your assignments for the most part. Um, please do not hesitate to email us. That is the best way to get in contact with us. If your teacher has a remind, um, please you know, send them a text anytime. We are in this together. And I, I really hope that um, you guys are getting more comfortable with the virtual setting. Other than that, I will let Mrs. Henderson explain some of our face-to-face -face expectations because things are very different at school this year with face-to-face. -face. Hi, I'm Ms. Robinette. I teach seventh grade math and I am all virtual. Hi, I'm Ms. Sen. I teach seventh grade ELA. I am virtual and face-to-face. -face. Hi, I'm Mrs. Dosty. I um, teach seventh grade English here at Stover. I teach both face-to-face -face and I teach virtual. Hi, I'm Tammy Butler. I teach seventh grade science. I teach face-to-face -face and virtual.